Hello Twin Flames, welcome to my channel, whether you are new or you're coming back. I'm so happy to have you here guys. This is going to be a classic read, a quick check-in on what's happening with Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine collectives. And of course we'll get messages between the twins and of course I'll start with an oracle card. Today it's going to be the wisdom of the oracle deck, so I'll get to it right away. And the first card is going to be for Divine Feminine's watching. Hope you guys are doing great. February has been quite a month. Uh, it's almost over, although it's a leap year, which of course has energetic meaning because it's like, hmm, this extra day that just pops out once in four years. That must mean something, right? No, there are, of course, multiple. Um, astrological transits. I've already spoken of a few and they continue this week. Uh, I don't want to get too much into that in these readings because not that astrology based. I'm still basing my main messages around tarot. So, but if you'd like to hear more astrology wise, whether in the community tab or here, let me know in the comments. So feminines, you have card number 45, time to go. To me, this is an equivalent of Eight of Cups, actually, and it's helping you close out certain cycles, and that's wink wink the energy of Full Moon in Virgo. But let me just read it quickly. You are at the end of one journey and have not yet begun the next. Begun the next. This is the moment to bless your experience thus far. Take stock of what you've learned. It's time to move on to new experiences and a new way of being. There is nothing left for you to do, be or experience in your present circumstances. Take the risk and move on, even if you need to be in transition for a little of time. Your destiny is calling you. I mean, I'm taking this message 100% in. That resonates for me, hope it resonates for you guys. That was quick, but why not? Card number six for the masculines, not for you. I also like that with this new camera view, you can see me shuffling, you can see at this part of the table. Uh, I'll see if I can get more of the table to be seen, I don't know. But yeah, this is working out better, I think. And the quality of the video is more crisp. Whoop. So, uh, there are times when it appears that no matter how deeply you desire something, no matter how hard you work at something, the result you seek always seems to elude you. It is as if you don't really get to be in the game and you feel you're just watching from the sidelines. The appearance of this card indicates that you're not going to attain what you want right now, that indeed your dreams for the exact thing will not be fulfilled. For that exact thing will not be fulfilled. <laughs> This is a time to radically accept that not everything is available to you when you want it. Take heart, for there are benevolent forces who desire the best for you and have a much clearer idea of what is for your highest good. Rejection is God's protection. Something much better will make you truly happy and is on the way. Trust this. Beautiful. Rejection is God's protection is a very strong mantra, motto, um, I've experienced it on so many levels that I can speak for hours about that uh, and how like this is the first part of it or oh, the second or the third doesn't matter but like there are many more ahead right but in the moment you see only what's happening right now so you may be uh, upset disappointed devastated or like oh my god like I've been you know I've been going towards this for such a long time how come um, after so much time, so much effort, I'm still here. I'm still at the wall, like I'm betting my head against the wall, essentially. Uh, and it may be, yeah, very, very upsetting and uh, even shocking. But then don't leave your stories there. Don't think that that's the end of the story. Because, yeah, something much better is coming in, right? Or maybe it just wasn't divine timing and it, when it will come in, when it comes in in the future is going to be so much brighter. It's going to mean so much more. And then when the story unfolds, then go back and see that moment when you were devastated, when it seemed to make no sense, 
when you were so upset that after so much effort, this is all you have to show up for, etc., etc. And then you can approach that and you can play it back for yourself with gratitude. And that's when you can have that closure and you can release any upset. That's essentially how you transmute those kind of stories. But it's important to remember about it, to come back to it. Not just leave it as like, ah, oh, whatever, I'll do something else. That's a good That's a good approach in that moment, I guess. But if you want to bring it full circle and really understand, and that I think is helpful in the long run because your psyche is not as afraid of those kind of moments of the failures, seemingly, right? Uh, you get yourself more into the mode of like, yes, I can tell that this is for my highest good. And I'm going to follow that lead. Okay, today we have the High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. Yes, the High Priestess reminds us to observe, to be curious, to sense the energy rather than just pay attention to the external. Some holographic tarot for clarification. Nine of Cups. Yeah, sometimes for dreams to come into reality, you don't need a lot of activity, right? It's more about letting go of things that aren't really yours. <clears throat> Feminines, you have the Magician clarified by Six of Swords. Yep, that's that manifestation. But you see there is movement here. This is one of those cards of like moving to a new reality, to a new land. This is one of the stories of this card, if you look at the original tarot story, that these guys are moving to a new land, right? To the place of abundance and peace, to find better luck, things like that, right? And it's like in that new land, you can truly unfold your abilities as a magician, or you can expand them, whatever applies in your situation. So this may be scary, like imagine for yourself, especially if you're essentially moving, like you've got your stuff, your like most precious things with you, and you're moving to a completely new land. Maybe the land that you've never seen before, you've never visited it, right? It's scary and uh, like you never know, is it gonna work out, is it not? But that's that leap of faith that's needed right now. So you can be, you can show up in your full potential. For feminines, and I mean, this is fig could be figuratively speaking, right? You, you got that. Sometimes my thoughts are ahead of me, so I may lose certain parts, but you, you get what I mean. For masculines, it's eight of coins, clarified by five of swords. So masculines see uh, where they've been telling stories to themselves which is a nice way to say they've been lying to themselves about why they do certain stuff, why they put in a lot of energy and work into certain scenarios, why they spend a lot of time doing stuff, and this could be hobbies that um, they took on because they were trendy or their friends were doing it, and they were like, yeah, or they were like, oh, this would be a cool story to tell, uh, right? Like, I don't know, I can fly an airplane, like, isn't that a cool story to tell? I think it's dope. And then after spending so much energy and money in it, you're like, I don't know. I mean, it's fun for a couple of times, but I'm not even that excited. Hmm. Right? Like, it's that kind of moment. Like, wow. Or maybe it's a project at work that masculines have been working for a long time and I'm here in years. And now they're like, I don't think I want that anymore. Right? And it's, yeah, it, it's also that realization that may not feel good, but it's helping you find the real way. And that's like, that's the card not for you, right? Like realizing that, yeah, maybe flying airplanes is excited for the, exciting for the next guy. Maybe they truly enjoy it. Who knows? But for me, I don't feel that way. As simple as that. For the additional question, we have... Queen of Coins, clarified by Six of Wands. Wow. This is success in the material realm, right? Like, what have you achieved? But this is a Twin Flame 
style that's what i'm getting here so there's not necessarily how much money i made just like for the sake of it or what kind of position i have in my company this is more like how much have i how uh much capacity have i gotten to show in my fullest self and to be of service to others right it's almost like the more i get the more i achieve the more of help i can be to other people the more knowledge i have the more finances i have i don't know it could start with charity projects and end with like i don't know building a retreat center right or some healing setup that you'll be using i don't know just making it up on the fly but you know what i mean right like it's like okay now i feel so much more empowered as a light worker how is the feminine uh approaching that how is the feminine going towards it there we go that's the way uh we have king of swords clarified by two of pentacles <sighs> the feminine is uh reaching that state that success through checking in a very honest and logical way what makes the most sense right now right like what is actually gonna get me to that successful part right and it's like in a very practical way that's what i'm getting logical and practical uh do i focus on this or do i focus on that right so try not to do too many things at the same time but make good choices make good judgment on what to invest into wow for masculines we have eight of swords clarified by page of swords for masculines to get there they're trying to be more honest with themselves one day at a time i'm hearing and that's a new skill to like being brutally honest about what i like and what i don't like what uh brings me joy what doesn't bring me joy right like this may make me money but i'm not gonna feel good about it this is so much more and i'm gonna be happy and have abundance that i can share with others then and being happy is a very important part and that's the part what like this self-sabotaging pattern that's what the masculines are starting to remove from themselves and they can see that without it and without bringing harmony and joy to the situation it's not as successful or it's going to take times and times more energy to achieve the same thing so it's kind of like i don't even want to say starting from within because this is still the conscious space this is thoughts thought patterns but still it's personal growth let's put it that way it's personal growth that's taking them into that more fulfilling journey towards success and abundance messages from feminines to masculines ten of coins and two of wands so feminines are saying i know exactly what i want and i know uh that i want this future with you right like i can see the success and abundance for us i can see how much more energy and goodness and love we have together to give to the world right and i don't need any other option i don't need uh i don't have any doubts that this is in the future for us this abundance that we will be sharing with ourselves and with others wow for masculines for once clarified by hermit <sighs> masculines see the union head they want it but they also they're being guided this is a major arcana they're being guided uh by the divine to take some time and space for themselves and work through certain doubts and self-sabotaging patterns where maybe they haven't been kind and loving to themselves and now the masculines are saying i have to learn how to do that in my own right in my own life so i don't become too infatuated and too lost in this relationship where i'll forget completely what my needs are that it's important to meet them it's important to take care of myself all of those good things i'm still learning how to do that so i don't want to jump straight from 
neglecting people I love to completely ignoring myself for the people I love. That's not a good way to do it, although that seems the most intuitive in this situation with you. So that's the work that they're doing now, but they know that that's going to be, they can feel it, that that's going to be very good, very useful for the union when it's time. Okay, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I love you all, and I'll be back with my readings very, very soon. I think I'll do the Divine Masculine reading next, so make sure you subscribe to my channel, that you like the video, and I'll be back tomorrow. Bye, everyone.